Welcome to day seven of 21 days, setting the stage for change. And yes, I am slightly late for today's episode. You won't believe the day I've had. Everything happening at perfect timing and synchronicity. And to be honest with you, I wasn't even sure of what I want to talk to you about today until I had a some very, very good in, um, conversations today. They have been powerful and they have just allowed me to just channel such great energy. And And I must be grateful for the, the two people that did have conversations with me today. They've been really, really good. And I, what I've been wanting to verbalize in a certain way is the actual pinpointing what keeps us from experiencing anything different. And it's not that I've discovered sliced bread, it's just that I, I wanted to verbalize it maybe in a more simplistic way that it would be easier for us to see. And I'm just going to take um, the metaphor of Lickly in order to, you know, keep my business running and, and things like that. I've needed to get a little bit more organized. So I have something called a schedule that I really haven't been accustomed to for a very, very long time. And I've just noticed, and I've just used this metaphor, that with at every slot of my schedule, there is something. And that's what we tend to do with our, with our emotions and our feelings, is that we keep creating, we keep scheduling unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously, but there's a part of us that always wants to feel a familiar way. And when we keep prioritizing and saying yes, yes to that thought, and yes to that thought, oh yes, I believe in that thought, we keep prioritizing a, a certain familiar feeling. So if the familiar feeling has been lack, you keep prioritizing filling up that lack trying to ease that pain or trying to avoid to feel it, we prioritize that. Or if it's a feeling of guilt, we're prioritizing, we're putting in things to do in order to satisfy that familiar feeling. And even though the mind says it's not something we want to feel, but the body is familiar with it. It's been feeling like this so long. And then we say, I want change. I want to have a different experience. But a different experience would require a different feeling and an unfamiliar feeling, something your body's never experienced. Let's get clear on what you actually want. A, a, a completely new experience requires you to allow yourself to have a completely unfamiliar feeling. When you know that you've been fearful, you want to feel confident. When you know you've been feeling guilty, you don't want to feel guilty anymore. Shame, unworthiness, non-validation, all of these feelings are very, very unfamiliar. Starting to accept that the unfamiliar is actually something that you want, that uncertainty is actually something you look forward to. The hypothesis, what would it look like? What would it feel like? Oh, what would it feel like? What would it feel like if I actually did get what I want? What would it feel like if I actually did succeed at this thing that I want to do? What would it feel like? The hypothesis. So you can actually allow yourself to describe it the way you want, to describe it to imagine it the way you want, to allow yourself to feel it. Mason's here today. Hey, Mason. He's my best buddy. <laughs> Come sit down. Sit, stay, stay. Of course, we all want change. 
of course we're all suffering about something but if we all embrace exactly what it is that we truly want and just be focused on that no matter what leave behind the things from the past and surrender to them and allow yourself to forgive yourself for whatever it is that you've done this is where unconditional love is really really important but not towards one another first of all towards yourself whatever it is that you've believed about yourself love yourself included look at what you're asking to fulfill I have this lack what needs to go in it so I don't need to fill it is it even true what are these negative beliefs and feelings that you're so familiar with that if you weren't familiar with these feelings what would you be feeling if you weren't so familiar with these beliefs what would you want to believe if you weren't so busy interacting with certain thoughts what would you be giving your attention to what would you choose to give your attention to we all want to change an experience and in order to have a different experience one needs to be thinking and feeling differently but you cannot think and feel from the personality you believe to be you're not a personality your personality, your current personality that you're identified with is creating a personal reality. It is only your personal reality. Your thoughts and beliefs have given you the colored glasses from where you're looking through. That is not you. That is not you. You are that which is aware of the thoughts Bring yourself to recognize, I know what the qualities of thoughts are. They are words that describe images and then they make me feel, I am not that, I can see a thought. I am this, am I this feeling? I am feeling an emotion, I am feeling a sensation. No, you are feeling it, you are aware of it. It is not you. The fact that we run off with them and try and fix them, fix them, I gotta fix this, and then I can, and then I can, and then, and then, and then. No, you're just going to be in a perpetual loop. And you can be there for a very long time. Your lack of worthiness, your lack, any kind of lack, if it is fulfilled in some way, shape, or form, it will keep you there asleep limited in a box everything is here to show us to wake us up or to who we really are recognize the familiar feelings that you are familiar with recognize the feelings that you'd like to have that you are not familiar with what would they feel like introduce a new question if I really have everything I wanted what would it feel like and notice the feeling you would have and notice how unfamiliar you are with it give some time dedicate some time sit in a comfortable position do nothing contemplate how familiar are you with the general way of feeling you are in your life what is the number one thing on your list remember the categories <coughs> until tomorrow <laughs> <laughs>